Dear Rubin holds a special place for many astronomers, I think. This was one of the instruments that uh, she used um, to help discover the presence of dark matter, which we now think is the dominant form of, of matter in our universe. She really was part of trying to push astronomy to be more inclusive and make more opportunities for women in science and astronomy. She is often credited as the mother of dark matter because the science that she is most well known for is discovering that galaxies seem to have a lot more mass in their outskirts than can be accounted for by the amount of visible light coming from their stars. For a long time, women um, weren't highlighted or their, their roles in science weren't highlighted as much. They didn't necessarily have that title even though they were doing that work. carefully and taking advantage of new instrumentation that was developed here, was able to measure how fast stars in the outer parts of galaxies were rotating about their centers. She was particularly interested in taking spectra, so that's where we break up the component light from an astronomical object into its component colors, which give us a lot of information about how that object is moving and what it's composed of. We think we understand gravity pretty well, and so we can calculate how fast something should move if it's orbiting a star or if it's orbiting all the mass in a galaxy. And so when Vera discovered that the outer reaches of galaxies seem to be moving too quickly, that led to the hypothesis that there's some sort of dark matter, that is matter that has gravity but doesn't interact with light or doesn't produce light, that could explain these peculiar rotation curves. These were observations that she kind of painstakingly made. Yeah, just our favorite UGC 36. And I could imagine how it was controversial at the time. This, this also turned out to be true about exoplanets, which is what I work on. So Vera was an incredibly strong presence in this department for a lot of years. She had a tremendous influence on the way I thought about women in science and the capabilities of women. She said, there is no science that can be done by a man that can't be done by a woman. I was so angry <laughs> that she hadn't had the, you know gotten a Nobel Prize in the time that that she was alive. Um, but that's not the end all be all, and there are lots of other ways to honor people. I like to think that 
we're carrying forward that legacy of encouraging curiosity in everyone, really, um, and, and emphasizing that um, there's lots of ways to do science and lots of approaches to science and that if you're hardworking and curious and have a question that, that you're a scientist and, and it's worth, worth investigating.